Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help folks find high-value, hi-fi, home theater, and headphone gear. And it's very exciting. Today, we're talking about a brand new turntable. That's right, the Project A1. It's an automatic turntable. So, sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Project A1. Project reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing the A1, which I really was because there aren't really any turntable automatic turntables in this price category. They didn't ask me to say anything though, so all of my thoughts are my own. They're not actually beamed in from I don't know, celestial body or something like that. It's my thoughts. In the box, very nice quick, oh my goodness, quick startup menu. And it's very straightforward. And this is a very easy turntable to get going. I had it up and running and playing music and well, it took longer to get it out of the box than it did to get it going, okay? Okay, so it walks you through everything. Again, it's very easy. You pull it out of the box, you put the hinges into the very nice lid and then uh, you put it on there if you want to. Take off a twisty tie, that's what I call them. So this turntable does a couple of things. Automatic start, which means it picks up the lever pulls it over and then puts it right on the record and play. Automatic stop, which means when it gets to the end, comes up, returns the arm to the thing and then puts it down in that thing. If you want to stop at any time during the record, you can just hit the hit the stop button like that. And then it has a up and down tone arm lever. If you want to actually pick it up while the record's running and move it to a different track, you just put it down like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So let's go through this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it like this, which I imagine, like if I just won an award. And I wanted to show it off, like a long award that you would hang on the wall. Not like a trophy, like something that says, Best Audio Reviewer 2016. All right, it comes with one of these, a mat. Underneath is this, the platter. It is held on by one of these little rings. So if you need this to get this off, you need one of those little pliers with the little two pins in the like that, then you can pull this off. It has an internal phono amp, and there's a switch right here that you either click it on or you click it off. So you don't need a phono preamp, but if you're interested, I just did a video on that, so I'll link that up there. Completely defeatable, just a little switch right there. Pop and then pop, on and then off. And then if you rotate it around, you can see the pulley in there, belt driven, finish. The finish in here is a what I would consider to be a rough vinyl coating, very similar to what you would see maybe on a pair of speakers. They did a good job though, and I don't see really any seams. Actually, I saw more seams on the T1 Phono SB than I do on this one. That was also a $450 turntable with an integrated Phono preamp. But the star of the show on this one is the automatic features. You just hit the start button, it picks it up, does its thing. The included phono cartridge is an OM10, Ortofon OM10. And if you're gonna change the cartridge, you're gonna have to do some more research. Because up here, oops, it looks like that is a fixed counterweight. I don't see any way to adjust it unless one takes off maybe this tape and they can screw a different one on there. So it looks to me, if you want to change the cartridge, you better find one that has very similar characteristics as far as tracking force and all that other stuff as the OM10. Build quality. Overall, I think the build quality is pretty good. On the bottom, there are four feet. Those four feet are not adjustable, but they seem pretty nice. Since the feet aren't adjustable, my rack is not very good, but it's, it's not level. So it kind of dips in the middle a little bit. So I had to use some things to level this up a bit. Build quality on the plinth feels pretty good. Feels pretty heavy. The feet are fine. I wish they were adjustable. Tone arm, fine. Head shell, I don't love the plastic. I also don't love the plastic on the switches and I don't love this right here. This area, is okay and know this this does not affect sound quality at all this is purely my opinion about the build quality i just feel like this is 
I just wish this felt a little bit better, a little bit more refined. This is handmade in Germany, and I know a lot of their other turntables, including the T1 Phono SB, just felt a little bit more premium, and I get it. They're packing automatic functionality into this turntable and an internal Phono preamp. So I get there's got to be cost savings. I just wish these looked a little bit better and felt a little bit better. And I wish there was maybe a, an adjustable counterweight. Now, granted, if you're putting a different cartridge on there, then you're probably gonna be throwing off all the automatic feature sets. But at least maybe tell us what cartridges we can put on there and have some options if one doesn't want the OM10 cartridge. Sound-wise, it was great. I ran it through the Project Phonobox S2 Ultra, which is a $350 Phono preamp, and it made it sound fantastic. The internal Phono preamp on here is similar sounding to the one that was on the T1 Phono SB, which is good. It's passable. It's just fine. But if one is willing to invest into an external Phono preamp, one is going to get a lot more sonic benefits out of this turntable. Even the Fozzy Audio $70 Box XT Phono preamp is gonna add some dynamics to this because the internal Phono preamp was just a bit, kinda of like the difference between listening to Bluetooth and listening to AirPlay. Just more music. It was, the, the internal Phono preamp just felt a little bit less dynamic, less punchy. Had detail on top, but it was much more sterile than the Project Phono Box S2 Ultra or the Fozzy Audio X2, whatchamacallit. So who is this for? This is for vinyl folks who maybe don't have the steadiest of hands. You just wanna press a button or flip a lever and have it turn the record on for you. I think this is a huge step in the right direction because automatic turntables were ubiquitous in the 70s and really even in the 80s. I remember all the turntables that my folks had, and they probably weren't audiophile, but you just hit a button and it boop, boop, boop. You could stack up a whole thing of records on the front thing, which probably isn't great for the records, but it would play them in succession. And I know those turntables weren't overly expensive. And guess what? We all enjoyed the music. It was just fine. This is a feature that I wish more companies would implement. So I think this sounds great. I think the automatic functionality is awesome. However, I don't think this turntable is going to be the most versatile when it comes to changing things out or adding accessories or customizing it. This is what you get. The cable on the back is also fixed permanently. So it's in there, it's wired in there. It's a very nice cable though. Very thick, very pretty, has the ground in here. So the cable is very nice. Again though, Sorry, I wish it was removable. I don't know why, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference, but most people, especially at this price point, are going to want a removable cable. I may be splitting hairs here, but that is my preference. Overall, I'm really glad that Project brought out an automatic turntable and one that has an internal phono preamp because this can be pulled out of the box, put it in, hit the lever, and you're off and running with music. If one is wanting a little bit more versatility or they wanna change things out later on, there's a lot of competition. There's also a lot of competition that may not be fully automatic, but there is some automatic features like the Fluons. Then we also have to consider that the OM10 cartridge, while it's very capable and very good, is about a 70 to $80 cartridge. And some companies out there will include the OM10 cartridge and they'll include some semi-automatic functionality, and that comes in at $300. That's the Fluence RT82. I almost said 83. It's not 83, it's the 82. That's $200 cheaper, so $300. Not gonna start the record for you, and it's not gonna bring it back to the holder. I wish this was built a little bit better, and I wish it was $100 cheaper. At $400, I think a customer can bridge that gap between a $300 Fluence and a $400 project fully automatic. I think the fully automatic features are worth the extra $100 premium. I think most people would consider the Fluence to be built better. But if one is looking for a fully automatic turntable, this is about the only game in town. It sounds great. And I think it's built okay. I just don't like the plasticky parts here. 
I don't think it's going to break. It probably won't break and they have a warranty even if it does break. But this turntable is going to appeal to a specific audience. If one wants a turntable that they can upgrade, this probably isn't it. This is an out of the box, it's going to work and it's automatic. And if that's what you want, this is it. Also, if you need to change speeds, it's just right here. Just another click. I think it's great that the customer has more choices now and they have a fully automatic choice because some people fall asleep and they're listening to a record and they, need, they want it to stop. At least I do. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapaudioman. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon-only Zooms. We also have a Patreon-only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Tidal or Amazon Music. There are links in the description. Click on the link, sign up. They both have specials going on. You can also use the affiliate links in the description. I will link this. I believe it's in stock at Crutchfield, amongst other retailers out there. If you use those links, I will get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So... Don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new Project A1 fully automatic turntable and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.